initiate. The stakes felt pretty high for an opportunity like this. You only get one shot. When that rocket launches, if you're not prepared, you get nothing. Three, two, one. So the Artemis rocket is a brand new rocket and no one has done any acoustical research on it. We wanted to study Artemis because it had the potential to become the most powerful rocket ever successfully launched. It has the potential then to be the loudest. When we went on NASA base, it was one of the coolest experiences of my life. It's really hard to imagine that you are gonna take these millions of pounds of weight and that is going to go up into space. We first set up our equipment for the first launch attempts at the end of August. We had two hurricanes run through. They had a few different launch windows, but ended up not happening. And then when we showed up in November, no time to really test anything. We deployed it, checked it out very quickly, and walked away. There's this feeling of, is this really going to happen? And here we go. All of a sudden, everything cleared, and they said we're at T minus 10 minutes. We started our recorders and sat there and waited. Three, two, one. Boosters in the When it finally launched, it was so cool. It felt like I was looking at the sun. The feeling of this rumble that passed through your body and continued for minutes, the feeling was just euphoric. Then, we, of course, we were all nervous because we weren't able to retrieve our systems from the field for several hours after that. You're asking yourself, did we record data? Did we record data? 225, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> Let's go. I think we got it. We got it. We got it. Woo! All our stations got data, so we were very excited about that. That feeling of 100% success was just outstanding. The maximum sound levels were about 136, 137 dB, which isn't the loudest sound that I've recorded, but it's the loudest sound that I've recorded so far away from the source. Five kilometers away is a little over three miles. We were hoping that in NASA's videos of the launch, we would be able to see the sound waves propagating away from the pad. And sure enough. Wait for it. It's RS-25, boom, there we go. Glenn, look at all, there's all the sound waves. I was nerding out a little bit. Not many people get to be involved in this kind of research. We were very lucky to be able to be part of this to go see a rocket launch. It was so cool. It's important to study these rockets because as the rockets get bigger and they're launched more frequently from a larger number of places around the world, we start to see potential impacts on wildlife, on communities, on payloads themselves, and the noise is one of those possible impacts that we need to understand. <laughs>